says a very disturbing note filled with hate was found next to her. KUSI's John Soderman is live at Sharp Hospital in Kearney Mesa with more. John. Alan, this mother of five is found in a pool of blood by her 17-year-old daughter. She took my mother away from me. She took my best friend away from me. Why? Why did you do it? That's all I want to know. Answer me that. 17-year-old Fatima Alhamidi begs for answers, pleading to know why someone nearly beats her mother to death. Hit repeatedly in the head, she says, with a tire iron. Her 32-year-old mother, Shaima Alawadi, is not expected to survive the vicious attack, which happens Wednesday in this quiet El Cajon neighborhood off of Chase Avenue. At 11.15 in the morning, the teen walks into the family's Skyview Street home to find two things. Evidence of some kind of break-in in the rear of the home and her mother in a pool of blood on the dining room floor. Next to her mother, she says, is a hateful note to the effect of, go back to your native country. She says that country would be Iraq, which the Alawadi family left in 1993 to come to the U.S. for a better life. My dear, could you just talk about the pain that your family's going through? I mean, we're speechless, you know? She's such an innocent woman. I mean, I just, why? Why did you do that? She's a housewife. <laughs> She's innocent. She hasn't hurt anybody. You know, she's a mother of five. Why did you do it? I mean, I found her on the floor, drowned in her own blood, with a letter next to her head saying, go back to your country, you terrorist. We're not the terrorist. You are. Whoever did it, we don't know what color you are, but we do know one thing. You are not Christian. You're not Muslim. And you're not Jewish. You're someone without a religion. Because if you know God, you would know God would not accept that. You're an animal, whoever you are. You're not even an animal. <laughs> I'm so sorry, my dear. Thank you so much. Shema Alawadi is here at Sharp Hospital in Kearney Mesa. El Cajon police say she is not expected to survive from injuries sustained in the beating, which is why they say they are beginning to prepare a murder investigation. Al Hamidi says a week ago, a note similar to the one found next to her dying mother was found on the exterior of the family's home. She says her mother dismissed it as the prank of kids, which is why she says police were not notified. But this grieving teen says after going through the horror of discovering her mother's battered body, she says the person who did it, if an adult, is, in her opinion, actually less of a man. And if you were a man, you'd come to her face. You wouldn't do it behind her back. <laughs> we'll do the best we can to get the word out, okay? Okay, I'm so sorry. <laughs> And tonight, El Cajon police are calling this an isolated incident. In Curtis Mason, John Soderman, KUSI News. John, have El Cajon police said anything about this being a hate crime? No, but it's important to note that uh, earlier today, in their first uh, press release, they didn't mention anything about this note. However, uh, at 6.30 tonight, they uh, reviewed, or rather they uh, put out another press release saying that they...